Um, let's take this down to the like total ground level here, real quick. And and so let's say that a woman's out, right? And and she's uh, she sees a guy that she likes. What can she do to kind of get his attention, um, but not seem kind of like desperate? Hmm. There's different things, but ultimately, you know, one, first and foremost, I think eye contact is one of the things that most people are very uncomfortable with, and especially the kind of extended eye contact where it's long enough so that he notices that you notice him. And, and that's one of the, and, and, you, so you, and you may need to do it on, on a few times. You know, some people say you got to do it twice, three times, whatever it may be, but ultimately, that that constant eye connection from especially from a distance it's amazing if you just hold it you know like longer than two seconds and turn away like almost you know I've told myself uh, the phrase a little bit where I would look and I would say I see you do you see me and it makes me kind of grin a little bit it has a kind of soft smile and then continue and then do it again I see you do you see me like a curious like I'm curious about you I'm interested in in that person that's there, in, in you, that what's within you. So you, you need to be able to first and foremost be comfortable with that. And today, more than ever, we're in a digital age where most people's heads are on their phones, on, on some sort of smartphone, computer, iPad, whatever you want to, we're not even looking up. Like if you look around, it's crazy to see how many people are actually looking down. So you, you know, we're in a different time where this is even more necessary because no one's even taking the time to observe what's around them. So you, you have to almost be, this is where you need to be more in your masculine energy to kind of do this because it's lacking. It's, we're not even in a social environment where we used to be, where you could be sitting in a bar and not looking at your phone. We have conver you'll see couples together not even looking at each other. Like it's, it's kind of interesting to, to really observe and watch. I'll, do, I'll drive and I notice how people are not even looking at the, at the road. Like it's constant. So it's an epidemic, okay? Which means you have to really be able to take the time out to really start doing simple things like extended eye contact where you're observing and then you add a smile to that. So it lets the other person know once they do look, don't turn away. Stay at that place and say that, do you see me? I see you. And you smile. And then yes, you can turn away. And then you may need, you may need to do it two or three times because men have shared with me, like it's not just on the first time because I don't want to be rejected. When they have to do the walk towards you and then they risk having the walk of shame and where they have to go back because you might say no, it's the hardest thing that they have to deal with too, right? Men are, fear, are fearful of rejection as much as women are. So, so I need to do it two or three times and, and where I'm doing that. And sometimes I'll even start the conversation. You know, I've done that in the past where I'll observe something that he might be reading or that he might be looking at and make a comment where I'm going to start the conversation, you know, as a person that's curious about what he's doing or what he's looking at. And, and, you know, even if it just ends there, it gives me the courage each time to m maybe be the first one to have the conversation. I think today more than ever, it can't just be a question of sit back and he's going to show up. Like, it's not that simple. <laughs> like, you know, there, there's got to be some sort of active slash passive active forms of, of inviting this type of um, man towards you. You can't just sit back and, and do this and, and that's all it's going to take. It, it, it requires a little bit more, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, and and I just wanted to kind of uh, go off of that point because it's it's very very important, you know. And, and as a uh, as a man and as a uh, uh, former men's dating coach, um, that that was one of the biggest kind of frustrations that guys have is is just the entire approach thing. And and um, a lot of times I'll get women who will say things like. Um, you know, if, if he was really a man and he was really, you know, worth it, you know, he would come over, he would, you know, just kind of stomp right over and, and come and talk to me. And, and it's really um, a lot more complicated than that. I, uh, so I, I used to be in the military and when, when I got out of the military, I came back from Iraq, you know, and, and I was this soldier, you know, and I, I uh, came into the dating scene. It was, it was crazy because I'd go out and I would meet. I would see all these women that that I was really attracted to, and I knew that I need like it was my job. I have to go over there and talk to them, and I would find myself like walking over and then like freezing 
like halfway oh. over there and uh, and then just like turning around and like walking back to where I was, <laughs> you know, hoping mm -hmm. that nobody saw me. And, uh, you, you know, I, I remember going home at night and just sitting there and being like, oh, you know, how am I this big bad soldier guy that goes to Iraq and like fights for the country and then I come back and it's like, I'm scared to death of these little women that I see out in these, these bars and stuff that I go to. And, and, and it really is a frustrate, really frustrating thing for a lot of guys. And uh, anything that you can do, and, and in fact, um, you know, and, and I know I, I talk about this in, in some of my other materials, but, you know, the guys that approach like that just, you know, you see it, they see you and then they come over and, and start talking to you. Those guys are not the best, that it, just because they approach you doesn't mean that they're the best quality of guys. In fact, the, the guys who, atten who tend to approach often are, uh, are the guys that are going to approach you. And, they, and they're, they're, they're typically like players or they're guys who have been taught to approach because most guys, they'll see you and then they get, filled up with this feeling of anxiety and overwhelm and they're like they're just like looking for some kind of signal from you they they want to get a um, some kind of sign from you that says that that you know you're interested in them because they you know like you said they don't want to walk all the way over to the other side of the room you know say something to you realize that you're not interested in them and then have to go walking all the way back in shame um, so, so anything that you can do to kind of invite him over, um, you know, or start the conversation, if if that's something that you want to do, is is really really beneficial. I think that you'll um, find that you open yourself up to this whole new realm of the types of men that you can get into conversations with, just because you're uh, change, you're doing something different. You know, most women aren't won't. Uh, do what we're talking about here. They won't invite a guy over. They won't go over and look him in the eyes and smile and or talk to him or any of that kind of stuff. So you you have this huge array of men that most women aren't even being able uh, don't even have a chance to go and talk to because they aren't willing to do these things.